Wallace went into the third round tied on 13 under with Marcus Frazier at the top of the leaderboard and finished the day four shots better off. The 27-year-old, who won his first European Tour title in Portugal earlier this year, carded five birdies and only one bogey, pulling off an impressive par save at the 18th. I'd say we're probably only halfway there because Sunday is a different day, Wallace said. I'm going to go out, fight as hard as I can and hopefully be standing here with the trophy tomorrow. Wallace's closest challengers are defending champion Francesco Molinari and last week's Alfred Dunhill Lynx championship winner Tyrell Hatton who are both two shots adrift. Molinari was in fine form in front of his home fans, birdieing the 3rd, 6th and ninth holes and then picking up further shots at the 14th and 17th. Hatton fared even better than Molinari on the front nine with six birdies, including four in a row from the 4th. His back nine was less spectacular but another birdie at the 14th saw him sign for a 65. South African George Kutsi and Kirit Eke Fibaran Red of Thailand are a shot further back while the round of the day came from Tommy Fleetwood, whose 63 took him to 13 under. It was a less successful day for Australian Fraser, who is five shots off the lead in a share of ninth place after a 72. Scotland's Mark Warren and Richie Ramsey both shot their third sub-70 rounds of the week. Warren's 67 left him tied for 13th place on 11 under, 6 off the lead. Ramsey is two shots further back after a 69. Compatriot David Drisdale's 68 left him on 3 under, 1 behind Ramsey. In the PGA Tour event in Kuala Lumpur, Pat Perez extended his lead at the CIMB Classic to four shots after shooting an eight-under par 64. The American carded nine birdies against one bogey in his third round, having improved by one shot in every round so far. Compatriot Xander Schofel is second after a second consecutive round of 67, while South Korea's Sung Kong sits third.